Hello and welcome to TechDredge. Today I'm looking at the use of NVIDIA 3D Vision in 2016 and seeing what it contributes to your gaming and movie watching experience. Let's get right into it. If you want a 3D setup, you're going to need a few things. First thing you'll need is a 3D capable monitor. And since this is NVIDIA, that means you need a monitor capable of at least 120 hertz refresh rate, like the ASUS VG248 that I checked out a couple of weeks back. Uh, second thing you'll need is an NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 kit. These kits are quite expensive and include a USB emitter and these stylish glasses. Since this is NVIDIA 3D Vision, you'll also need a NVIDIA graphics card, preferably one that's capable of playing the games you want at 120 frames per second. Now that you've got everything you need, install the latest NVIDIA drivers and run the NVIDIA 3D Vision uh, setup in the control panel and you'll be good to go. The NVIDIA 3D Vision emitter is simple enough in design, an elegant trapezoid with a sync button on the front and a scroll wheel at the back for adjusting depth. Your best results will probably be at medium depth, but it's all up to the individual. I can take it very deep with no issues or headaches. The glasses are plastic and very light. They also feature a sync button as well as a micro USB port for charging. They are comfy enough and fit nicely over most prescription glasses. Um, NVIDIA 3D Vision, they make use of active shutter technology. So basically the screen alternates between two different images, one each for the left and right side. And the glasses physically open and close a shutter over your eye, so each eye only sees the image that it's meant to, which gives a great 3D effect. Unfortunately, this means you have lights on in the room, you can get some flickering in the background, so your best results are with lights off, which is fine for movies, but I prefer to play games with the lights on. However, if you can look past that, the technology works really well, though it is also dependent on compatible software, but most games I've run into have a pretty good implementation of 3D. In games, the effect isn't so much jumping out at you, it's more like you're looking through a window into another world instead of just looking at a screen. It's really slick, especially in games that are optimized for it, such as Dirt 3, Hitman Absolution, or Grand Theft Auto. Uh, cockpit view in racing games is particularly good. It feels like you're riding the cockpit with all the controls right there in front of you. Uh, though the outside view is also really cool if you have dust kicking up and all that in your face. Again, the effect isn't so much jumping out at you as adding depth and immersion to the gaming experience. Hitman Absolution is another gorgeous game in 3D, and the Dolphin emulator can convert your Wii and GameCube games into stereoscopic 3D. The effect varies from game to game, but there are a few playable titles. If you have three monitors, then you can run 3D in surround, and if you can afford that, I very much recommend it. The immersion is just beautiful, especially in racing and third-person games. Driving 3D surround isn't as hard as I thought it would be, especially at 1080p. I'm able to do it with two GTX 780 Ti's and SLI and get over 140 frames per second in every game I've tried. But having that extra field of view coupled with the 3D immersion and you'll have a really orgasmic experience. Moving on to movies. If you have 3D Blu-rays, you're going to have a great time. Though you will need to purchase the very expensive Cyberlink Power DVD, which has a clunky UI and isn't the most efficient piece of software ever. But it does play 3D Blu-rays the way they're meant to be played. Avatar, Harry Potter, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, all look spectacular on my monitors. What also works surprisingly well is converting 2D content into 3D. It's best your source file is in 1080p since it lowers the resolution a bit, but Cyberlink does a really good job at converting modern TV shows into 3D. Modern Family, Silicon Valley, Big Bang Theory, any animation all look baller. If you have a TV card, Ava Media Software does a semi-decent job of converting live TV to 3D, Though there are no high def channels where I live, so the results can be pretty dodgy. The biggest issues are software related. NVIDIA's implementation isn't really the most intuitive, though it has improved a lot since I started using it. Half the time I'll start up a game and forget to turn on the glasses, so the game loads in anaglyph red and blue 3D, and so I have to exit the game, turn on the glasses, open NVIDIA control panel, and reset the default 3D device. That gets really annoying really quickly. The other big issue is availability. Most monitors simply can't push 120 hertz, and so if color accuracy or contrast are more important to you than high refresh rates, it's unlikely a monitor capable of 3D is what you're going to want. It would be very nice if NVIDIA would lower the refresh rate threshold to 60 hertz, at least for movies, so that way great movie watching monitors can have a 3D option on a NVIDIA card. 
or if all monitors would just start making 120 hertz default. Because that is really the biggest problem with 3D. It's something you want to use every now and then, and it's something you will very much enjoy using, but it's not something you want to have to go out of your way to use. You have to buy special monitors and an additional kit with glasses and an emitter and your specialist software. 3D PCs will never be mainstream until it's just there. The quality is at the level it needs to be, but it needs to be ubiquitous to every monitor to suit every use case. So is 3D worth it? From a quality perspective, yes. And if you're getting a high refresh rate monitor anyway, definitely spend the extra and get a 3D kit to go with it. If you aren't getting a high refresh rate monitor, then it's very hard to justify spending the extra money and making compromises on other monitor specs, such as color accuracy. That said, if you just really want a great 3D experience and are prepared to pay for it, then the technology is already here and available and it works well. Thanks for watching Tech Dredge. Please subscribe if you want to see a tech themed video every week. Next week is a review of the Logitech Z906 surround sound speakers for your PC or home theater or whatever. Have a good one.